think it's starting because I'm getting these weird sensations. Very, very low down. I don't even know what time it is. I'll have a look now. I went off because uh, James came in to uh, have some lasagna with me. So we, we've just eaten some lasagna. Nice homemade, lovely one. I'm really glad that I uh, made that. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely no cooking tonight. I think I've started my labour. I don't know, though. Like, I'm still, like, questioning myself as to whether it's happened or not. But it's like a really... It's like a tight feeling. Like, there's, like, a tightness where it's kind of, like, last for, like, a couple of seconds. And then I'm okay again, and I'm like, do 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 you know what I mean? And I've found that the best way, the best kind of position. So this is, like, the position that I think's the best for these little tiny contractions, if that's what they are. I don't actually know 100%, but if, I feel like they are. Best position to kind of breathe breathe through them I found is doing that so kind of just leaning over like supporting my hands keeping my um, feet and toes shoulder width apart um, but yeah so that's an update for you well the start of what could be maybe fingers crossed I hope it is because I'm so ready um, but yeah, welcome to Shan's Jams. This could potentially be the beginning of my pregnancy video. See, I think there's one coming now. I think there's one coming now. <laughs> it's like, it's right there. So like below, be right below my bump. Um, and like this seems to be like the best kind of position like leaning over and I've just done like a little meditation I'll leave the link to that meditation um, it's it's like hypnobirthing meditation but I'll leave it in the link so yeah it's gone, it's gone again now so it like lasts for like a couple of seconds or something but yeah hypnobirthing meditation so I'll leave links and stuff to whatever I've used during this in my description if you want to check it out if you're going through birth or your partner is but yeah exciting times it feels like he's putting pressure that's what it feels like pressure like pressure and like tenseness and like you just need to go for a wee and then when you sit on the toilet and like kind of relax you pelvic kind of muscles it feels really nice and it's like oh like thank god <laughs> so i do recommend if you are going through the early stages um get on the toilet and act like you're having a wee because it kind of relaxes your pelvis muscles that's what i've just learned literally in that like in this past hour that's how long it's probably been going on for now I think to be honest I don't know I don't really know I've got no concept of time right now the plans are in my brain James doesn't know this yet but I'm thinking right I need to go to Tesco tonight and get fruit to make a fruit salad for the hospital or for when I just want to munch I need to make me tuna sandwiches with cucumber in for snacks <clears throat> There's, so they're the two things that I want to do during the early stages, which hopefully I will get to do. Um, and hopefully rest a little bit because I didn't even have a nap or anything today because I just didn't feel like it. But I probably should have done, but it is what it is. He'll come when he's ready. That's what I've been telling people because <laughs> everyone keeps on asking me when he, like, is he, is he here yet? And I'm like, nope. He's still just chilling, still just chilling in there, loving life, causing havoc in there. Oh, I've also been, so this was before the contraction started. Um, I was just on the pregnancy ball, uh, well, exercise ball. And that, I think, probably kind of brought them on, maybe, because I was on this, just bouncing and swaying my hips to music. Um, I had some uh, good bangers on. 
So I was just doing that. That's literally what I was doing just before these tense kind of pressure feelings came came along. So I don't know if that kind of maybe brought them on a bit because I was feeling relaxed and chilled and, you know, oxytocin release and all that. Anyway, I will get back to you on the next update when maybe things will get a bit more intense. <laughs> we'll see. Just to let you know that this this has not been bad at all. It's like it's quite a nice feeling actually, like and just knowing that he, he could potentially come like tonight or tomorrow or whenever is exciting. So like the excitement kinda takes over the sensations that you feel. For me anyway. I'm headed to Tesco <laughs> for some fruit. Look at me. <laughs> Just stopped at the garage to fill the tyre up because it was flat. Just in case, because we want to be prepared, you know what I mean? We don't want the uh, tyre completely going dead on the way to the hospital or anything. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> I think I'm having another little contraction um, in the car. Not that comfortable, I'm not going to lie, because I'm just sat here. I did put the seat forward a bit, but that's not really helping, to be honest. I would much prefer to be stood up. So, <laughs> having contractions in Tesco. <laughs> oh my god. Mostly just fruit. Naughty. And shit, yeah. So James is putting the um, car seat in. We've just got back from Tesco. Got all my fruit there. I'm gonna make a fruit salad. The contractions have gotten a little bit more intense and I did feel one that's kind of radiated towards my back. Um, And they seem to just be really irregular. Like, I don't know when they're coming and going. They seem quite fast, but they're dead short. I don't know if that's normal, but I'm just kind of going with it and just like breathing through them, um, deep breathing, because that's the best thing you can do. And uh, well, relax them through them as well, like trying to relax your body as much as you can. I think James, James is uh, <laughs> passing out a bit because <laughs> he's running around like a headless chicken. Because I just said some, I've left me a uh, phone at Tesco checkout. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was there on the floor, like having a contraction. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, just breathing really deeply into the belly. I think one's coming now. It's like, it's so hard to describe. It kind of makes me want to go to the toilet. But yeah, just deep breathing through it. Try and relax the muscles as much as I can. <sighs> um, still there a little bit. It's just like, I need to like time. Well, I can't be bothered time or anything. <laughs> I'm just going to ask James to time it in a minute and just see what what it is at the moment. But it seems to be coming quite fast and then going fast. So I don't know. It's so strange. I might give um, my stepmom a call, um, which is my dad's partner, Chloe. She had um, free births or whatever at home, so she knows quite a lot about it. So maybe I'll give her a little... A little tinkle or a little text and just ask her about the timing of the contractions. I suppose it's different for every woman though, isn't it? So I feel the energy's come back again. God, it's so strange. So, so strange. Such a weird sensation. Crazy. I don't know how intense this is going to get, like... <laughs> I'm a bit worried now because uh, this is like super early um, to be feeling quite like contractions like this, I think. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know, what are your thoughts? Let me know. <laughs> Goose rather. <laughs> Goose rather. Goose motherfucking frabba. I am. Um, I've started saying Goose frabba when I uh, when I when my contractions come. And I just breathe out and say Goose Fraba and it really relaxes me. I don't know if you know the reference, but it's from um it's from an Adam Sandler film called Anger Management. And the guy use if you've not seen it, check it out. It's a funny movie, comedy. One of my faves um is Adam Sandler, so I love all his movies. But uh yeah, they use the word Goose Fraba to relax and get rid of like the anger inside the body and stuff and uh i just realized that goose frab is like the best word to like <laughs> relax me but uh if you don't know the reference go and have a look online oh little update as well we've started to fill the bear from pool up <laughs> oh my gosh it's madness wait is it still going i've got my little thing to check the temperatures right um but it looks all right to me but yeah that's just filling up next to the fish tank so i can watch the fishies whilst i give birth oh another contractions coming let's goose fraba let's goose fraba goose fraba it goose fraba it oh honestly being on all fours is like so relieving like when you're going through it see that one wasn't as bad like that one was quite quick they're so irregular at the moment i don't know if that's like a normal thing or what but being on all fours is the best i think let's get jamesy boy <laughs> don't make it too hot we don't want to scorch me um babe do you know where my other tripod is the the cheaper one have you seen it In the bath, 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 bath. In the bath, bath, bath. <laughs> Got me fishies. Lights. About to put some tune on. You like something relaxing? Still, um, like quite irregular, I think. But like, you get that tired when it happens, and then when it stops, it's like, bing. So strange, such a strange feeling. Don't you? You're having a minute apart. A minute apart. Yeah. For how long? About thirty seconds. Ish. Okay. You heard it here first. 
One thing I'm struggling with but that, that I've just said to James is knowing what to say when the contraction comes. So, like, I said at the beginning, I was saying Goose Fraba from Anger Management. And now I'm just, like, <laughs> saying random shit. Like, I was saying fishies before. And now I'm saying it's okay. Which I, is actually quite nice. I like saying it's okay. That makes me feel better. Yeah. Um, what time is it? Quarter 11. Quarter to 11, Monday night. Um, but yeah, let's see how long this lasts for. <laughs> Next update. <laughs> it was 20 to 1 in the morning and I'm struggling. I'm doing good, but I'm struggling. It's like very intense. And I just want to go to the hospital now and get it like over and done with. Um, I don't know how long the contractions or anything are. I've kind of left that to James, but yeah, it's quite hard. And I'm absolutely knackered. I've got a bit of sports drink. So I'm going to drink that and see that wakes me up a little bit. Uh, probably the next video will be in the hospital. We'll see. See how far I get. <laughs> As for the pain, it kind of like radiates to your back from your pelvis area. And it's super, super intense. Like, this is my the rest part of my contraction, so it'll probably come back in a couple of seconds. Um, but this is like the oh, like it's such a relief when this bit hits. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not not, not nice when the uh, surge comes. <laughs> the contraction. The best thing that I can do is literally just breathe through it. Because you can't control it at all. So the best thing to do is just breathe as deep as you can. And like just try and calm yourself and know that it's going to end in a minute. Like, yeah. James did call the um, hospital, by the way, and they said um, they said that it's too early yet. That was like a while ago. Oh, here comes a contraction. I don't know, I just recorded one so I'll be able to see. But um Yeah, it's not it's not the nicest feeling to be honest, but you can deal with it. So this is where we arrived at the hospital and we went into a little room and one of the nice midwives seen us and checked how much I was dilated. I was four centimetres dilated at this point. So the lady said, oh, you've been through the worst of it. <laughs> she was definitely lying. <laughs> um, but yeah, so carry on watching. It's killing. <laughs> Let me at least come in to speak to you. 
Yeah. Okay. The baby's getting monitored. You hold that for me, babe. Yeah. I've had gas in here. <laughs> so is James. <laughs> I've dealt with it pretty well, considering I'm pretty much nearly there, just waiting for the waters to break. And I've had, um, what is it, dimorphine? Yeah. Dimorphine, and I feel a lot better. Um, the contractions are so intense and quite painful. So I'm just like breathing through them. She's doing well though. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, moral support's good. And like, when he reminds me to breathe, it really helps. And like, little strokes and stuff. I think we should get the little Bluetooth speaker out and listen to some music. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll uh, update you on the next bit. If I can. 7.20 now, still here, still contracting. I had quite a lot of um, blood loss. What did they say about my blood loss? Just his plug. His plug. And a bit more like blood loss as well, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, so they just put like a little drip in just in case. But they've not used it, so that's good. Um, still kind of on and off the air and gas. Examine me. Shh. Sorry, babe. The last time they examined me, I was seven centimeters dilated. So I think they're gonna examine me again in about five minutes and see how far along I am. But they're very intense, so I'm hoping I'm pretty much nearly, nearly there. But we'll see. And then, um, yeah. Maybe we can try and set the camera up somewhere. Not now, but later. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a bed and pool that I wasn't allowed in. literally just like working on relaxing my pelvis muscles as much as I can and that really helps you just got to let it happen if you try and resist it or squeeze in any way it just it's just more painful pardon me um but yeah I'll keep you updated Fingers crossed they'll be here soon. Signing out. Okay, so this is the examination and I'm now nine centimeters dilated. I'm just scranning two pieces of apple. And it's really sweet. It's eight o'clock in the morning, it is now. Um, so 10 centimeters is fully dilated, so that's when it's time to push. Which I'm shooting myself. But we'll see what happens. Um, what time is it now? It is 20 to 11. 20 to 11. Just stood up. Someone's coming in, so. Check in with you later. Yes. <laughs> 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 
slightly blue eyes. Yeah, baby usually do. My little chicken. Can you little jump off Nana Chloe? Can you little jump off Nana Chloe? Can you? Mm -hmm. <coughs> 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 let's go. Home sweet home. Annie's been asleep since we left the hospital. <laughs> He's so chill. Like, so, so chill. I can't wait to sleep. I've not slept in maybe like... It feels like three days. I don't actually know how long it's been. I'll have to work it out, but... That's how long I think it's been. I'll ask James and see if he knows. A little move. <laughs> is uh, is onesies a little bit too big for him? Like, but <laughs> I, the other ones I brought to the hospital were a bit too small, so I had to go with the bigger size. Cause I don't want to be in, feeling tight and trapped. But we're doing good. We've got the front room up to temperature for him. Now I think my nan and Karen are gonna come round and see him. Oh, what's it say on it? Baby. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so cute. Look at the little rainbow. I know. Oh, we might look at them, babe. What's that for you? You might look at them because there's loads of colour on them. Oh, 